Proverbs 24, 16. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. There is a design to any situation in our lives. And who is he who designs? He who designs and directs our path is our creator of all, our Father in heaven. In Christ, we have our purpose. We have life in him. When things get tough, get too hot in him, in Christ, we will not get burned by life. We use that flame to keep our blaze burning as a beacon of light given to us by the Holy Spirit. This verbs, Proverbs 26, 24, 16, we may fall, but because of Christ, we can rise again. Who helps us rise? Who helps anyone rise? He who is in Christ, the one true savior who went out to look for that one that went astray, that fell because of troubles of this world. But Christ, Christ went looking. In, in Joshua chapter 1, the Lord expresses his presence with Joshua three times. He expresses to Joshua to be strong and courageous. He tells him, I will not fail you or abandon you. And again, he says, be strong and courageous, but not just courageous, he says, very courageous. And he tells him, obey all these instructions. Do not deviate from these instructions. Again, he tells him, this is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord, your God, goes with you wherever you go. By the sovereign will of God, he is doing a work in our lives that is a preparation for our calling to be strong and courageous in walking in his will. Isaiah 43, 2-3, that popped into my head this time of vulnerability where my mom has been going through. He says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flame will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Colossians says to keep roots deep in him and have your lives built on him. Be strong in the faith. Keep your roots deep in him. Because of the walk of this daughter of a king, we were only able to go back and gain our strength and not feel helplessness, not feel hopeless. Being so close and yet being so far and a feeling that no one likes to have to deal with. The vulnerability, the not having the reach uh, uh, of wanting to care. This, these roots being built in him helped bring our thoughts of negativity, our thoughts of helplessness, our thoughts of hopelessness back to saying our strength is in Christ. I can be strong in my faith because I have known and I have seen the supernatural works of our Father. In Him, we gain strength. In Him come with me waters, fires. It does not matter when you are rooted with your faith in Christ and seek him wholeheartedly you may be knocked down you may fall down but through god's grace through god's infinite mercy he will lift you back up again may we find our roots may we find that our life is built in this faith in christ do you lack faith when you get knocked down? 
Is it hard for you to find faith when you get knocked down? May you seek that hope and that faith in Christ who will always be there, who will never abandon you, who tells you, I am your God, I am your Savior. We thank you, Father, for one more day of life.